because so many of my patients come to me because they first start to notice that their face just looks sort of older or more tired than they feel. Every time that you frown, every time that you show concern or even squint, basically you're contracting muscles in your face. So if you start to notice those frown lines between your eyebrows and they're bothering you, then it might be worth trying Dysport. I've been wanting to try Dysport for a while because I think the frown lines between my eyebrows make me look older, but I'm a little concerned about the procedure. Does the process hurt? I tell my patients, Dysport basically feels like a couple of pinches. It's actually much easier to get through a procedure of Dysport than it is to have your blood drawn. You know, the needle that people use to get their blood drawn in their arm is way bigger than that tiny little needle that I use to inject Dysport. By the time you notice the pinch, it's basically over. I've never used Dysport, but I'd like to give it a try. My concern is this, will my face look frozen? How does the process work? Dysport does not make your face look frozen. Dysport and the other forms of botulinum toxins, they all work the same way. They all inhibit the release or stop the release of a molecule called acetylcholine. And in doing so, they prevent your muscles from creating a frowning action. So Dysport actually just relaxes the muscles that make you look angry or tired. So you're perfectly capable of expressing your face the way that you normally would, except you just look a little bit more well-rested or refreshed. I was just wondering how long the whole process would take. The Dysport procedure usually takes me anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. It's truly a lunchtime procedure. You know, as soon as you're done, you may notice these tiny little almost mosquito bite looking blebs in the skin, and those are gone by the time that you walk out of the office. So really no one's gonna know that you had the procedure done. I've had Dysport. I love how I look. How often do I have to do it to maintain the results? Well, most people tend to want to repeat their Dysport procedure about every three to four months. And when they do come, the results that they get are very comparable to the results that they got the first time that they got treated. I think that's what makes Dysport so amazing. It's just sort of the best version of you. Dysport is a prescription injection for temporary improvement in the look of moderate to severe frown lines between the eyebrows, the labellar lines, in adults less than 65 years of age. Important safety information. What is the most important information you should know about Dysport? Spread of toxin effects. In some cases, the effects of Dysport and all botulinum toxin products may affect areas of the body away from the injection site. These effects can cause symptoms of a serious condition called botulism. Symptoms of botulism can happen hours to weeks after injection and may include swallowing and breathing problems, loss of strength and muscle weakness all over the body, double vision, blurred vision and drooping eyelids, hoarseness or change or loss of voice, trouble saying words clearly, or loss of bladder control. Swallowing and breathing problems can be life-threatening and there have been reports of death. The risk of symptoms is probably greatest in children treated for muscle spasms, but symptoms can also occur in adults treated for muscle spasms and other conditions, particularly in those patients who have underlying conditions that would predispose them to these symptoms. The toxic effects have been reported at doses similar to those used to treat muscle spasms in the neck. Lower doses, in both approved and unapproved uses, have also caused toxic effects. This includes treatment of children and adults for muscle spasms. These effects could make it unsafe for you to drive a car, operate machinery, or do other dangerous activities. Do not have Dysport treatment if you are allergic to Dysport or any of its ingredients. See the end of the medication guide for a list of ingredients. Are allergic to cow's milk protein, had an allergic reaction to any other botulinum toxin product, such as Myoblock or Botox, or have a skin infection at the planned injection site. The dose of Dysport is not the same as the dose of any other botulinum toxin product. The dose of Dysport cannot be compared to the dose of any other botulinum toxin product you may have used. Dysport may not be right for you if you have surgical changes to your face, very weak muscles in the treatment area, your face looks very different from side to side, the injection site is inflamed, you have droopy eyelids or sagging eyelid folds, deep facial scars, thick oily skin, or if your wrinkles can't be smoothed by spreading them apart. Tell your doctor all about your medical conditions, including if you have a disease that affects your muscles and nerves, such as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, myasthenia gravis or Lambert-Eaton syndrome, 
allergies to any botulinum toxin product or had any side effect from any botulinum toxin product in the past, a breathing problem such as asthma or emphysema, swallowing problems, bleeding problems, diabetes or a slow heartbeat or other problem with your heart rate or rhythm, plans to have surgery, had surgery on your face, weakness of your forehead muscles such as trouble raising your eyebrows, drooping eyelids or any other change in the way your face normally looks. Patients with a disease that affects muscles and nerves who are treated with typical doses of Dysport may have a higher risk of serious side effects, including severe swallowing and breathing problems. Human albumin. This product contains albumin taken from human plasma. Steps taken during donor screening and product manufacturing processes make the risk of spreading viral diseases extremely rare. In theory, there is also an extremely rare risk of contracting Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, CJD. No cases of spread of viral diseases, or CJD, have ever been reported for albumin. Allergic reaction to injecting in the skin. It is not known if an allergic reaction can be caused by injecting Dysport into the skin. The safety of treating excessive sweating with Dysport is not known. Common side effects. The most common side effects are nose and throat irritation, headache, injection site pain, injection site skin reaction, upper respiratory tract infection, eyelid swelling, eyelid drooping, sinus inflammation, and nausea. Tell your doctor all about the medicines you take, including prescription and non-prescription medicines, vitamins and herbal and other natural products. Using Dysport with certain other medicines may cause serious side effects. Do not start any new medicines while taking Dysport without talking to your doctor first. Especially tell your doctor if you have received any other botulinum toxin product in the last four months, have received injections of botulinum toxins such as Myoblock, Rima botulinum toxin B, or Botox, own a botulinum toxin A in the past, be sure your doctor knows exactly which product you've received, have recently received an antibiotic by injection, take muscle relaxants, take an allergy or cold medicine, or take a sleep medicine. Use in specific populations. Dysport should not be used in children or in women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. Ask your doctor if Dysport is right for you. You're encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA, Visit www.fda.gov backslash medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. Please see Dysport full prescribing information including medication guide.